Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's a Friday today, the 17th of June. And I've been going through your some of your questions on the previous videos that we've done on this channel. So this video is to help you with one of the, what I noticed, one of the commonly asked questions on those videos that we previously did where I showed you how to turn your strategies into trading robots. So the commonly asked question on those videos is how to limit open orders because the robots are taking multiple uh, trades. So how do you limit the open orders? So we'll get into that uh, as we go with the video. I just wanted to say before we go with the video, uh, it's a holiday where I am in South Africa, so the kids are not at school. So in case you hear some kids uh, in the background, it's my kids there at home. It's a holiday today, so but uh, I had to, to do this video to share uh, this uh, knowledge with you guys. So yeah, uh, just forgive me if you hear my kids in the background. So uh, to start things off, uh, we are going to import one of the robots that we did. Uh, so you actually go in here. If you create a free account on FX Streamer, uh, the free EA builder that we are using. So when you create a free account, you can come here and you can load your previous uh, projects or you can load, you can import uh, the previous uh, robots that you did. Or actually, you can import other people's uh, Forex uh, uh, robots uh, as long as it's XML files, MQ4 files, and MQ5 files if you have the uh, FX Streamer M MetaTrader 5 uh, platform uh, as well. And what I noticed, what I noticed, uh, I'll confirm again, maybe it was just uh, that uh, robot. But what I uh, what I noticed also is when you are importing the projects, FX Dreamer only responds or allows you to import code that was uh, made by FX Dreamer in the first place. So uh, I think it's kind of an ouch uh, there. But I'll just confirm that. I'll just maybe it was that particular robot that I tried to import uh, that did not work. But I noticed that uh, you probably need to import only uh, source code that was designed uh, by FX Streamer in the first place. And there are many ways where you can get uh, this code if you don't want to start uh, uh, creating your own robot from scratch. Uh, maybe I'll share some of the code that we've been working on. And there are many also online that uh, I think FX Dreamer itself actually has uh, a section where you can download other people's own robots. So yeah, so let's just go into import project and see what is uh, there to download. Uh, let's check um, this. Um, I think let's take uh, this Pume Crush uh, robot. Let's import it. Yes. Uh, so that's our simple Pume Crush uh, robot that we designed uh, the other day. So how do we limit the number of trades uh, that uh, this robot should take? Uh, that was the common uh, question. So I don't know why it opened that, uh, but anyway. So what you want to do is, for example, here, we are going to unlink, we are going to unlink uh, the, this robot. Let's uh, do that. Okay, let me just uh, delete or detach. Detach, yes. Right click on the blocks and you detach or you can simply delete the blocks at the bottom, but we don't want to start afresh. Uh, if you don't know how we created this boom and crash, simple boom and crash uh, robot, uh, uh, the video is on this channel. I think it's uh, um, the second video from uh, the previous one, but uh, the video is on this channel. You will not miss it. So um, now if you have done this, if you have created uh, this simple robot that, we, uh, that I showed you, now what you want to do is 
you come here where it, it says uh, check trades and orders count there and we're going to check trades count so how are we going to link it uh, check trades count is we are going to tell the robot how many trades we want it to open how many trades we want it to open now we are going to have several options there you can see there it says greater uh, than three orders uh, so you have a number of options do you want to have the robot take more than more than what three trades or do you want it to take lower than three trades or do you want it to take exactly uh three trades so uh greater and lower of course is just going to depend on what are the conditions of uh, the market so uh, it, it uh, if it's lower than three then it's probably going to take uh one or two depending on conditions or maybe one two three depending on conditions or even one depending on conditions if it's going to be greater than three it's probably going to what to take as many trades as it wants or maybe three or maybe five or maybe depending on what on the conditions if it's equal to then definitely we are saying that uh, uh, it has to take how many three trades and done uh, regardless of whatever happens three trades and we're out of uh, it stops taking new trades so we can just check that so that we are able to trade with counting three trades that have been taken by the robot or you can say we count three trades whether they were taken by this robot or whether they were taken manually as long as they, as they are on the same pair we want it to limit to what three pairs uh, to three positions sorry three positions sorry so uh, whether we maybe before we plug the robot we had taken two trades already so if we choose this it means the robot is only going to take one trade because we said our maximum has to be what three on that particular uh, pair or on that particular chart so it's something that you need to think about here if you say group is only going to be three trades that are taken by the robot it's not going to take into consideration the other that you are probably going to place manually or maybe uh, placed by another robot or something like that so you decide whatever you want to use here maybe for now i'll just leave it at uh, uh group filter there basically uh i i don't need to change anything there and well, we can filter by uh, symbol as well by type I mean you can you can basically have fun with this and see how it works for you so we can just uh, update so how do we connect uh, everything together that will be the question we just need to do this I hope you had guessed it when you saw me do this uh, at the start of the video so we just slide it in there and we link everything there like that and we take another one and we put it there or we could have uh, simply uh, copied this and placed it there we double click in there and we say it what equal to and we just tick that and we do not change anything else there and that's that and we link it like uh, that so in essence this should answer uh, that question uh, that you guys have been asking me about uh, limiting what how to limit uh, the number of trades that the robot can uh, take here we've got uh, seven blocks we've used seven blocks in total so it depends with the robot that you are also making you know fx streamer is free for meta trader 4 uh but i think the maximum is also 10. if you go before above 10 then uh, you need to pay uh something 
so i hope that uh, this helps you and if you have any more questions leave them in the comment section below uh, visit the description box for any more information and stuff like that subscribe and like the video guys i'll see you in the next video bye